Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Here is the 10327 Dune Ornithopter with me. I'm sure you've seen my detailed building review about it. If you somehow missed it, you can check it out by clicking on the link in the top right corner. This is a great set, I absolutely love it. It's full of brilliant mechanical functions that are made possible with many Technic components. There is one aspect that it does compromise, the look. It's not as smooth as you would expect from an icon set, as a lot of these linkages and other functional parts need to be exposed. There is one thing I didn't understand during the build that still confuses me, the visible use of red parts. The tow ball with pin pieces and the two module long cross axles both have a black equivalent, the cross axles are actually used in the set. The only reason I can think of is to make the build process easier to follow. I usually support this approach when it comes to the colorful interiors of Technic sets for example, but I don't think it was so necessary here. I mean, if these parts here were black, I don't think people would be confused. Or later on, the cross axles are already black, I don't think this single piece would make a big difference. Fortunately, the most troublesome parts are also pretty easily accessible, so I can quickly show you where they are, how to replace them once the set is built, and you will see exactly how many of these black parts are needed. I will show you the easiest and cheapest way to improve the look, you can of course also replace as many colorful parts as you wish. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on one side, which are very visible, and if you look at the wings from the front, the links that connect the pairs of wings here also have 1 and 2, and these two are probably going to be the trickiest. Replacing these is not that difficult, make sure you push the inner parts down when you remove the pins there, watch the force applied to the whole assembly though, as the legs can take too much. The ones here on the rear vertical links are fairly easy to access, you remove the link, replace the parts and you are done. The front one on the top is blocked by this assembly, you have to remove these pieces first, then detach the link, rotate it, remove the pin, install the new one, replace the one underneath, reinstall the link and put the parts back in. So we have replaced 10 of these pieces on this side so far. Since there are 20 of them altogether, we can use a somewhat difficult calculation to determine that all the parts will turn black if we also replace them on the other side. So I think that looks much better. What else do we want to replace? There are a lot of two module long black cross axles on the outer sections of the wing roots, which is great, but for some reason red ones were used here, which are closer to the body. It's a bit tricky to swap them out, but luckily you can push out a cross axle with the new one you want to use, so only a few links need to be removed. If you find this method difficult, you can use a longer piece to move the axle and then insert the other one. Similar with the front pair, a very easy swap on the top, a bit trickier with the bottom, but here we go. So we have swapped 4 on each side, that's 8 in total so far, and it looks much better now. Yes, there's one on the top of each side that's a bit visible, but that would require some major disassembly, as it's blocked from one side. You can swap them out during the build though. What else? We have two of these cross axles here in the front landing gear, somewhat visible. Not too distracting, but you can easily replace them, so why not? We have one on each side. There's also another one here at the back of the trigger for the flapping mechanism. If we move the side panel slightly but don't detach them, there's enough clearance to push it out with a black piece. There's another red spot that you can see from the side at the bottom, this cross axle here. It's longer, 6 modules to be precise, and can easily be replaced with a black one. There is also a red spot at the top of the wing control mechanism. It shows where to operate the function, so I'm almost happy with it, but it can be also replaced. It's pretty easy if you don't mind pushing the plastic a bit. Remove the red one, add the black piece, put that lift arm back in place and you are done. So, in a few minutes we've managed to get rid of quite a lot of red bits and I think we have an improved look. Of course there are still some visible colors, but we can't do much with the blue pins and the rest is not so easy to replace. So what parts do you need for all this? You can find the full list in my blog post with links to LEGO's Bricks and Pieces service and also to Bricklink. By my calculations and current prices, they cost 3.13 dollars or 3.14 euros at bricks and pieces, plus shipping of course, but I would suggest adding them to other purchases to take advantage of the free shipping. Prices at Bricklink may vary depending on your location and local vendors. All in all, it's really not a huge investment and as you can see, the look has improved significantly.
So folks, let me know what you think of this upgrade. Will you be doing it or maybe you've done already something similar with your set? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.